correlation. A correlation is a relationship between two variables, especially quantitative variables. The data can be represented by the other pair and x and y, where x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variables. So in this case, we're using square plot to show two quantitative values correlation. So let's construct a square plot. A study nurse conducts a study to determine whether there is a linear relationship between an individual's weight and daily water consumption. The data are shown in the following table. Organize the data in a scatter plot and describe the type of correlation. Okay. So here is the data and then the graph shown in the below here. So on horizontal axis, I'm going to put weight value and then vertical axis, I will put water consumption rate. As you see, minimum weight is around 102 and the maximum is 201. So I'm going to make from 100 to 100, uh, 210 because um, it is over 200, right? So I'm going to start from 100, 110. 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190. Extend this a little more and 200 and then 210. Okay, now the water consumption minimum is around 21 and the maximum is 86. So I'm going to make from 20 to 90. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Okay, so let's start plotting all those other pairs. The first one, so 142 and 54. So 142 around here. And then 54 around here. So it becomes, I can estimate around here. Now 20186. So 20186 is around here. And 119 and 32 here. And 102 and 50. So 102, 60. And 141, 141, and 64. So it's almost here. And 124, 82 is here. 220. Oh, so here's one more. So 220. So I'm going to put 220 here. 220 and 39. So 39 here. And 154 and 21. So here. Okay. So that's a scatter plot of this data. Okay, now I want to ask you a question. Do you think this scatter plot show a linear shape 
of these two quantitative variable. So there are many ways to draw a line here. So uh, let's say uh, I may draw maybe middle area somehow like this. Then now, even though this point, these two points, and this point, they are kind of close to the line here, but other values such as this point and all those points, they are not close to line at all, right? So, even though we can say it may have linear correlation, but we cannot say those two quantitative vari vari uh, variables have strong correlation. So now I want to say the E has actually weak correlation. Okay, then how to find correlation? Correlation always indicated by R. And that's the formula here. But as you see, this formula is very complicated. So I don't, because of this course, we don't have enough time. So we don't actually practice the fine correlation. But I want you to know what kind of a correlation it is considered strong correlation and what is a weaker correlation. Okay? So, strong correlation. It means these two different variables is very approach to line here, such as all the point may be located somehow this kind of uh, cases we always call strong correlation. Another way we can indicate also strong correlation, which is negative side here. So, same way, you know, all this a point kind of a gathering around this line. So, those two are, we, we are considered strong correlation. It means we just say the slope is equal to 1. So the maximum probability or proportion of value is equal to 1 and correlation is approached to 1. Then it is strong correlation. So in other words, R is approaching either plus or minus 1. Then they consider strong correlation. Okay, so now if R is given 0.901, if R is given negative 0.891, which one is a stronger correlation? Yes, it must be 0.901 because it's closer to 1, even though the second one also strong correlation because uh, the first one absolute R absolute value is bigger than second absolute value so the first one has stronger correlation then how about this case so the first one is negative 0 0.996 second one 0 0.911 so I'm going to say 0 0.911, which one show stronger correlation? Must be this one because it is very close to absolute value, absolute value 1. So as I told you, if R is approach either plus or minus 1, we are, we are considering strong correlation. Okay?